We can no change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. The healthy man does not torture others. Generally, it is the tortured who turn into torturers. The pendulum of the mind alternates between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. It all depends on how we look at things and not how they are in themselves. The greatest and most important problems of life are all fundamentally insoluble. They can never be solved but only outgrown. Through pride, we are ever deceiving ourselves, but deep down below, the surface of the average conscience, a still small voice says to us, something is out of tune. The collective unconscious consists of the sum of the instincts and their correlates, the archetypes. Just as everybody possesses instincts, so he also possesses a stock of archetypal images. Knowledge rests not upon truth alone, but upon error also. When an inner situation is not made conscious, it appears outside as fate. The debt we owe to the play of imagination is incalculable. The man who promises everything is sure to fulfill nothing. And everyone who promises too much is in danger of using evil means in order to carry out his promises and is already on the road to perdition. Nobody, as long as he moves about among the chaotic currents of life, is without trouble. Follow that will and that way which experience confirms to be your own. It is a fact that cannot be denied. The wickedness of others becomes your own wickedness because it kindles something evil in your own hearts. Who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Even a happy life cannot be without a mire of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. It is far better take things as they come along with patience and equanimity. The creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect, but by the plain instinct acting from inner necessity the creative mind with the objects it loves. Every form of addiction is bad, no matter whether the narcotic be alcoholic or morphine or idealism. A man who has not passed through the inferno of his passions has never overcome them. The least of things with a meaning is worth more in life than the greatest of things without it. If there is anything that we wish to change in the child, we should first examine it and see whether it is not something that could better be changed in ourselves. Great talents are the most lovely and often the most dangerous fruits on the tree of humanity. They hang upon the most slender twigs that are easily snapped off. A particularly beautiful woman is a source of terror. As a rule, a beautiful woman is a terrible disappointment. Children are educated by what the grown-up is and not by his talk. The most terrifying things is to accept oneself completely. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light but by making the darkness conscious. Whatever is rejected from the self appears in the world as an event.
thinking is difficult. That's why most people judge. We can no change anything unless we accept it.